Hey family, welcome back to Everything's Major. For today's episode, we're making some juicy and delicious meatloaf. This meatloaf recipe will become a favorite at your dinner table. This ultimate juicy meatloaf is guaranteed to make your mouth water. So join me in the kitchen and let's make it major. All the information and ingredients are down in the description box. So sit back and relax while I do all the work and you enjoy the ride. For where two or more are gathered in my name, there am I with them. Matthew 18, 20. Everything's major. Everything's major. First, grab your olive oil and we're going to drizzle two tablespoons of olive oil in our skillet. Then add two tablespoons of butter because we're getting ready to saute our veggies. Adding flavor is crucial for our meatloaf. So I'm going to add in one onion, one red pepper, one green pepper, two jalapeno peppers, one shallot, four cloves of garlic, chopped parsley, one yellow pepper, and one orange pepper. These veggies will bring a wonderful aroma and depth to our meatloaf. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to our veggies. Next, I'm gonna kick up a notch and add some Kinder's caramelized onion butter seasoning. This is going to add some extra flavor. We're only going to saute our veggies for a couple of minutes and then we're going to remove it off the fire and let it cool. I have about one and a half pounds of sirloin ground beef. I chose sirloin because it has a perfect texture. We're going to season our ground beef with some pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, Kinder's caramelized onion butter, red pepper flakes, sweet paprika, dried parsley, onion and garlic powder, nature season, some beef bouillon, and Italian breadcrumbs. After we season our ground beef generously, we're going to add in a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. These breadcrumbs is going to give our meatloaf some extra texture and absorb any excess moisture. Next, we're going to add in one large egg. The egg is going to help bind all our flavors together. We're going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and you can use one fourth cup of chicken broth or whole milk. I chose to use chicken broth. Mix in your chicken broth very well to your sirloin and it should be nice and moist like this. Now we're gonna add our cooled veggies to our ground beef and mix up everything very well. We want to ensure that we have an even distribution of flavors. Now let's transfer our meatloaf mixture into a grease baking dish. Shape it into a loaf shape, making sure all sides for even cooking. Now let's make our delicious glaze for our meatloaf. In a small bowl, add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a half a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of mustard, and one fourth cup of brown sugar. Mix all together and pour all over our meatloaf, making sure to coat the sides as well. We're going to bake this on 350 for about 50 to 55 minutes. While our meatloaf is baking, I'm going to boil some Yukon Gold potatoes. This is going to go excellent with our meatloaf. I'm going to boil the potatoes in some chicken broth with some garlic cloves, seasoning, butter, and half of an onion for some flavor. Our meatloaf is ready, family. It is hot out of the oven and it is looking delicious. I broiled it for a couple of minutes for a nice caramelized finish. Allow meatloaf to rest for a couple of minutes then slice into your masterpiece. Each bite is bursting with flavor and tenderness and some juice. 
I added a little bit more sauce on top because I like it saucy. And it paired very well with these Yukon Gold potatoes. Just look at this plate, it is so delicious. While we're waiting on our meatloaf, the next video you should watch is my one pan chicken and rice. So say goodbye to chaos and say hello to simplicity with a meal cooked all in one pan. This recipe is a symphony of flavors made with jasmine rice, succulent chicken thighs, and lots of veggies and spices. All blended together well in a single pan for an easy and satisfying meal. The succulent chicken thighs and fluffy rice absorbs all that savory goodness from the herbs and spices. And the best part of this meal is an easy cleanup and a dish that satisfy every single taste bud. So the link for this recipe will be down in the description box. Check it out. Well, thank you family for joining me today and learning how to make this ultimate juicy meatloaf recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with all your family and friends. Until the next delicious encounter, I will see you again real soon next time on Everything's Major. Be blessed all throughout 2024 and beyond. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. And please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Take care and God bless. And everything you do, make sure it's major. Everything's major. Everything's major. Everything's major. Everything's major.